Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all about combing out locks, how to maintain length and healthy hair, and the right products to use for that. So before we get into it, please do like this video. Also, please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And also share this video, comment below, all that good stuff there. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get into it. So I guess the first question is, can you comb out your locks and still have length and the answer to that is yes you can <laughs> i was definitely in that same boat and asking those same questions before i got rid of my locks and as you can see i have been able to retain some length in my hair and also been able to keep it healthy and i am going to show you the products that i used um that really helped i found with that process of retaining that length and also keeping my hair healthy and just a couple of um i don't know just a couple of things that i realized with my hair along the process of combing them out so if you haven't seen my video i did shoot a video um with me combing out one of my locks when i first started out combing them all out and so you can check that video out as well so i will start off with the products that i used um during this um combing out um process and most of it i did um actually share with you in my um video in a more practical way so definitely check that out just to see it in a bit more depth and in action me actually using the products and applying it to my hair but the first one i will have to i i just absolutely i saw this product i found this product and fell in love with it it's part of the hair products that i already love and hopefully one day sheer moisture will actually sponsor me but um definitely sheer moisture product this is the extra moisture detangler and when i tell you this this was a game changer during those seven days of me combing out my locks um it definitely really helped and i found sped up the process a lot um and basically it just has so much slip and it helps to detangle your hair and of course when you're combing out your locks that is what you want you want something that will help you to detangle it to unravel it and to be honest with you whilst i was putting some water in my hair and using this product and putting it on my hair and combing it out it some parts okay not all parts but some most of the parts it felt like i was just combing out a plait it really felt like i was just combing out a regular plait or regular twist it was this big it was just going through my hair so smoothly so yeah that was um really 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 handy and i found that um for each lock it took roughly about 50 minutes so you could say about an hour per lock for me to comb out um and, but this really did help the process i did use this um which was cantu um shea butter which is a conditioner creamy hair lotion um so a different type of consistency this one's more creamy um whereas the shea moisture one was more gooey <laughs> is a lack of a better expression but it was more gooey but um this one i bought this one because it said it softens and detangles so i was using this first before i bought the sheer moisture but and this one's cheaper this one was 5.99 um and the sheer moisture is quite expensive um in most shops i was getting it for 9.99 which is 10 pounds and i bought four of these 40 pounds i spent <laughs> um yeah coming out your locks can be quite pricey i mean it doesn't have to be there are some products you can buy for like two pounds and everything like that but i just wanted something that i felt secure in and by all means get something cheaper but that worked this one i didn't find it actually worked well for me in the end i stopped using it and i went on to buy more of um the um detangler shea moisture detangler because this one i felt it didn't really work and also it has such a strong smell and i think with all cantu products it has a certain smell to it it was quite strong and when i was using it literally every 10 15 minutes on, on per lock it was a lot of product to use and i felt the fumes were really getting to me i was starting to feel a bit sick so i stopped using this one with this one it has a very slight scent to it very very faint but other than that hardly hardly no scent you can almost say it didn't have a smell to it 
yeah it was so good it was so good to use so much better to use um so i ended up using this one and i really found that this was a humongous game changer to my locks and also just the texture they had to it as well it really helped to soften it too so that was definitely something that um yeah i'd highly recommend if you're looking to comb out your locks um try it out i would say bit pricey but i would say try it out Another thing that was definitely a game changer, <laughs> well, something that you definitely need um, whilst you are combing out your locks is one of these. And this is what some people call a, I think a pin, pin tail or um, rat tail comb. Um, definitely get the one with a metal tip because it's a lot sturdier, it's a lot stronger. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Try to tangle or detangle and pick out your locks. Um, you need something that's gonna really get in there. Also what I found was um, by, not even the end of it, halfway through, what some people don't tell you, what people don't tell you, and I did not realize, that even when I started the first lock, my wrist, my hand started to get cramp. And so you would get cramp. You get cramp in your bum, in your back, because you're sitting down for a long time, especially when you get into the, the swing of it, you don't wanna stop, you wanna keep on going. That's how I found anyway. So definitely taking regular breaks, I would highly recommend, because you don't realize the strain. By literally, by the time I'd finished, the seven days I'd finished picking, I'm coming out my locks, I felt like I'd been run over by a bus. I needed a couple of more days to recuperate. <laughs> so I'm glad I took a week off of work to even do that. But I also found that my um, two fingers, my thumb and my finger, started to feel very numb. That's because when I was holding my lock and picking it out, this part here would sometimes get caught here or it get caught here and I had a lot of pricks um, on my hands and a lot of cuts and it just ended up getting a bit numb. Even right now I can still, a few days later of me, oh not even a few days, about a week later of me combing out my locks yeah yeah memories are still there but um so that's another thing to look out for as well i mean it's not something that you can necessarily avoid it's just part of the process so just bear in mind there will be cramping in your hand <laughs> and um you might get some little injuries of numbness as well when you're picking out your locks another thing to have as well is a grip or a um bubble or a headband just so that you can section out the hair i would advise this to section out your hair just to make it a bit more manageable um and another thing with manageable if you can get people to help you now i say that very very light i say that very um carefully because at the same time do not expect people to be there to help you either i didn't i always had in my mind i was going to do this on my own i knew it was going to take a while and definitely go with that expectation and that mentality because i did have um the help of my sister bless her she did help my mum tried but she gave up <laughs> my sister gave up as well but she did help me along the way like near the end i ended up going to her house because i needed a change of scenery um and this was only day three of her seven days I needed a change of scenery and so I, I ended up spending a day, a night at her house and I did, had a lot of shedding around her house too so sorry, I hope it's all gone by now. But um, yeah, so she did help um, and even when she started off doing the first one she said, I don't know how you're doing this, I can't do this, this is too much. And I was thinking, damn, I'm halfway through and <laughs> you've just done one. So it is a lot and so you can't have that um expectation that people will be doing it or um anything like that so just bear that in mind but it's nice to have the help as well so if you can get someone just to undo one <laughs> it definitely does feel like <sighs> that's an hour down that's an hour less of what i have to do so yeah every lock helps to be honest with you and i was truly grateful for that help yeah another thing is a container or a bowl or anything like that that is quite durable um, and microwavable if possible. Actually, I did to put this in the microwave, but basically anything that can hold heat. This held the water and this um, was very, very necessary. You need water and you need lots of it. I like to have the water that I was using to dip my hair in um, quite hot, <laughs> actually. Um, and 
hot because I felt that it helped to loosen up the hair especially having um the detangler in it as well it just helped to really soak it in and um I found that the water was starting to get cold literally halfway through one lock so I would have to reheat the kettle or put it in the microwave it was a lot um can you imagine doing that every hour or twice in one hour over your whole head <laughs> For, for seven days um it, it was a lot but it was something that was quite necessary for me to do because i just found that the hair started to loosen and i was able to get through the combing out process a lot easier when the water was quite warm obviously not too don't just be mindful that you can still burn your fingers so don't have it piping hot but just have it enough that you can bear it at the most hottest <laughs> you can bear it for um so yeah that was definitely something that i found really helped i also realized that i didn't have much lint or gunk or anything horrid like that in my locks quite surprisingly and i'm quite happy with that um there's a lot some people when they're retwisting their locks and certainly when i started out um the loctician that did my locks he used a certain type of beeswax that was quite hard and hardened the locks i think i helped to manipulate it into a lock um when i um used faux locks but um but yeah i other, other than that i've never really used that stuff and i know that that kind of beeswax and uh, all those heavy products can really just leave residue in your locks i didn't find i had any of that so thankfully chunks of hair was not um coming out of um the combing out process because of that um it was quite clean um actually my locks and i'm quite happy with that um so yeah so i didn't have any of that sort of trouble um there was shedding there was a lot of shedding and there will be a lot of shedding uh when you do the combing out process um i had a bag full of shedding <laughs> um and it was a small bag but i had a bag full of shedding and um even with all that shedding i still managed to keep um some length um in my hair so that was quite quite good and quite handy i did um trim the ends of my hair um as well um, um but i i didn't do that until like a couple of days after because i just wanted to keep some length and be quite happy with that before i chopped it all off um so yeah that was quite cool after i combed out my um my hair my locks i every time that i combed my hair through because it was all pretty new and and matted and all types of stuff again this product really helps i pull that on my um the, the section of my hair used a wide tooth comb and combed through um, my hair with this product um or, or i wet it as well and um, anytime that i was to comb my hair i didn't comb it dry or anything like that um that's another way to help to you know take care of your hair and to maintain and keep that length and to keep it all healthy my hair i found was pretty healthy um after i finished combing it combing out the locks um it's quite thick <laughs> as well as you can probably see um and i decided to go to the hairdresser um after i finished combing out my locks um i won't say which hairdresser i went to because i didn't have a great experience there but the main thing that i wanted to do when i went there which is what i done and i didn't have a problem with that side of things was i wanted just someone to wash my hair um and it felt so good having a comb go through my hair for the first time in 12 and a half years of not having that it was just a very awesome feeling <laughs> but um also i wanted to have my hair um treated as well so i had a treatment at the hairdresser and which i thought was quite fundamental something that i wanted to do ne i thought needed to happen um because i was just afraid that if i touched my hair it would just crumble obviously it didn't or wouldn't but that's what i thought so i thought let me just get it um, treated have a nice good deep treatment for it but yeah i would suggest going to the hairdresser having a treatment of some kind after you've combed out your locks as well just to lock in that moisture and just get it you know healthy revitalize it a bit because it's just been through some things <laughs> especially if you comb them out um so yeah i definitely highly recommend that so just um as a quick summary i would definitely say in order to maintain length and to keep your hair looking nice and healthy using the right products is key also patience 
is key don't rush it don't don't you know take your time as much as you can when you are combing out the locks and when you feel that it's getting the hair is getting dry or not as wet as it was dip it back into that water always keeping it well and truly wet well and truly saturated because the more of that the easier it is to comb it out and the less tugging um that you're doing less um friction that there is on your locks so definitely bear that in mind when you're combing them out using the right products as well definitely shop around definitely um you know there's no harm in going for the cheaper products and not none at all i just wasn't aware of those products and because i've used shea moisture before in the past and i like what it does to my hair when i saw that they had a detangler it had a lot of slip i thought let me try this out i bought one bottle and i loved it and i made that sacrifice to buy three more so um it was a lot of money on that but it was definitely worth it um also i would suggest also definitely actually whatever products you do go for buy buy a product and use a product especially for the detangler section that doesn't have a strong smell or strong scent and i say that because it just because you're going to be using it constantly constantly for however many days you are doing your you're coming out your locks you don't want a strong overpowering smell you don't want to smell or scent at all because even if to you it doesn't smell too strong when you're just smelling it in the shop or something it will start to become overpowering um as you continue to lose it hour on hour so bear that in mind go for a product that doesn't have a strong smell even if it's a nice smell don't try not to go for a product that has a strong smell again this one doesn't just saying <laughs> It doesn't have a smell at all to be honest with you so i found that using that was so much better so yeah um i hope that you found those tips very useful if you are considering going down that route there are so many different ways that you can get rid of your locks and this is just one of them it does take time some people do it over you know while still going to work so they do section by section i just wanted to get over and done with take a week off so that's another sacrifice but when i took that week off I started off on the Friday, the Friday night, and I um, started to unpick one or two, and then on the Saturday is when I really went in for it, Sunday, etc., to the point where by that time, I had finished combing out my locks on a, let's call it Wednesday morning, it was like literally 1am on a wednesday morning so it was just under a week to be honest with you if you count the weekends as well but i'm glad i took that whole week off because i had wednesday thursday friday to sort my hair out go through that whole drama with the hairdresser um and really get into a style where i felt like i could face the world or at least my work colleagues anyway um with my new hair and i'll go into another story in another day another video about the different reactions i had from various different people and share that with you guys but yeah so i hope you actually found this video very useful please let me know um if you did please let me know in the comments below what you want to see in my future videos to come i have a few lined up that aren't all hair related mind you so yeah i can't wait to share that with you guys but in the meantime if you like this video please do give it a lovely thumbs up also if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe comment below and i'll see you again in my next video thanks so much for watching Bye.